Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to develop a real-time log ingestion system that essentially ship logs to the log stash. And in near real time, you can see a log and visualize your logs on Kibana. So here is what we are about to build in this tutorial, okay? I'll, I'll show you a demo. So this demo, uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm essentially publishing logs from Python. These are uh, applications that are generating logs at a very rapid rate. And the end goal of the product is, or the end goal here is essentially, as you can see, uh, every five seconds, uh, you know, it is shipping this log to the log stash, right? And you can visualize that. And as you can see, we are receiving logs here, right? So this is what we want to build. We want to see this log in near real time coming up on Elasticsearch. We can visualize that using Kibana. We can build beautiful dashboards. We can filter it. For example, if I want to see, okay, show me all the error messages, right? I can easily add filter on the document, right? I can filter by host. I can filter by version. Uh, so all those amazing stuff uh, you could do using this stack. Um, so as you know, if you are completely new, completely new to this, uh, I have some tutorials on Logstash, Filebeats. I recommend you to watch that out. Okay, so let's get started with this video. So um, I'll stop this here uh, and I'll, I'll try to explain you what we are trying to do. So we have a Python library which is called Logstash and this could be easily installed with a simple pip command python logstash uh, so download this library okay now what i have done essentially here i wrote a simple class uh, this class will take um, the logger name uh, logstash host uh, if you're running on aws essentially this will be the domain name right uh, logstash you uh, port because i'm using an input as a udp port which i'll show you shortly right um, and then here I'm creating a logger class, right? So I'm essentially also logging it here, right, on my screen. And at the same uh, at the same time, what I have done is I have essentially added a handler. So as you can see, uh, logger dot add handler, and here is my log stash handler, right? I have given the host and essentially the port. And then you here is your normal application. Any Python code that you write, say something error out, you usually use log statement, right? Logger dot error, logger dot info, logger dot warning. So the goal is essentially whenever you have these log files uh, or logs generated, we want to parse these logs and essentially ship them to Logstash, right? So I would be, uh, I would love to show you the Logstash file. So let me show you that. So, so I would go to my computer and by the way, I'll leave the source code in the description. So if you are willing to check that out, kindly do check that out. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go to my work and then I'll go to softwares and I'll go to logstash, right? So here we'll go to a conf file, right? So I will be going to uh, so go to config and here is my sample.conf file, okay? So very easy. I'll try to explain what I've done here. Uh, input logstash has three parts, right? Input, output, and filter. Here I'm using a very simple input and output, right? We could easily add grok patterns here and we could filter items uh, as well. Uh, but again, this is a hello world example, right? We want to essentially learn the flow. We want to learn the pipeline, right? So input UDP port 5959, right? So what happens is uh, this Python guy, you know, he, uh, this guy has a handler, right? And we have uh, mentioned the port as 5959 right here, right? So in the log stash, we are defining the port Kodak as JSON, right? Target as document, right? So I'm defining, uh, it's gonna receive a JSON. Uh, the output is STD out, which means I'm gonna see the document on terminal. And also I want this to go to the Elasticsearch. Now, ideally, uh, you know, when we, you know, write log stash conf file, we usually create time-based index, which means uh, automatically every day you'll have a new index, you know, it will shift the index. But I want to keep the video simple and rather sweet, right? I can go technical, everything in one video, and that would simply would, wouldn't make sense for beginner. So here, very simple, right? Localhost, and I'm saying lo uh, log db, I'm just giving it an index name here, right? Now, uh, your, your Python is shipping the logs to, uh, Python is shipping the logs to Logstash. And if you come here, and here you can see whenever you ship the logs, uh, this is how uh, it looks like on the console. Uh, I'll try my best to. Okay, so you, as you can see, right, you could see these logs on your console, right? 
now what you need to do in order to start this you need to say this command log stash minus f then you provide the con file right this is my con file right and then i'm saying config reload automatic which means anytime i change the configuration i don't want to essentially pause and then again start automatically restart okay so that's gonna take care of that now remember we can go uh, you know you can define number of pro processes or you know workers i don't want to do all that in this video i want to keep it straight and simple right so uh, that's that now you know what i'll do is uh, essentially i'll run this code okay so I'm, I'm running I'm, I'm running the code in a while loop and this is gonna essentially generate all these logs from different system so what happens is all these systems are gonna are generating logs um they are shipping uh, the log to the log stash right here you can see right uh, it's, it's updating real time uh, here right near real time I would say now if I would have gone to my elastic search right uh, if I come here I just want to show you and then hopefully this should give you an idea so if I go to dev tool, I just want to confirm here. And if I go to cat indices, uh, this is my log, uh, log TV, right? Here you can see the number of document counts, right? Uh, now you can create an index pattern, which means if you want to visualize your logs like this, right? Because every time it's being updated, right? So what I'm doing is you need to create an index pattern. And again, this is very easy. So I came to stack management, right? Scroll down uh, until you see an option for index pattern. I already have a pattern guys remember but you can click on create and type the index name log db uh, so and then you will have an option to you know just click on save uh, save button i've already done that um, so which is why it's not showing up right so once you do that then you can come to kibana come to the discover section right uh, and over here um, over here you can select your uh, index uh, we encountered an error yeah, it seems like, uh, let me, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think I just have to, you know, let, let me, let me do that again. So, uh, gonna go to stack management, uh, would, uh, would go to index pattern and just to show you, right. Uh, I'll come here and I would delete this guy uh, so that I can create one by myself. Right. So now I don't have that index. Now, again, I'm shipping my logs, right. Uh, applications are generating logs to my log stash. Now I'll click on create index pattern and then I can say logs DB and here it should show up, right? Uh, you want to click on next step. Uh, you want to select timestamp. Uh, this is my time field, right? So we will we'll now create an index and then click on this um, star icon right here. Once you're done, that's great guys. Now all you got to do is you got to go to the discover section. And now here are your logs that are coming in near real time. As you can see, every five seconds, my screen is refreshing. And these are logs coming in near real time. Just imagine, take a look at this, like how the system are working so beautifully, right? It's almost near real time. The logs are being published right now. Uh, for example, if you if you only want particular field in the document, for example, if I just wanted to see, um, you know, let's say document, uh, uh, it's gonna take a while now because i added a field so you can also select the columns that you wanna that you are looking for right so uh hopefully uh, let me try it's taking a while now i remember i'm running it locally so this will take time right so i'll simply refresh okay so now say i'm only interested in uh, the field uh, Let's say because you can have different uh, log logs, right? So you could filter out by host or you could add particular stuff. For example, let's say I'm interested in only the messages. So you could see the messages here, right? Uh, very beautifully, right? The counter are increasing, right? Uh, say you are also interested in uh, host, you could add that. If you're interested in the timestamp, you could do that. Uh, I'm looking for something. Uh, so I can also add this here. You can see my logger name is Saumil, right? You could, um, and again, you could uh, essentially uh, give whatever name you want, right? Uh, I have given Saumil, right? So different application can have different name and you can filter out these logs here, right? Um, other than that, uh, you have a host, right? Then, uh, yeah, there are a lot of other fields you can essentially put, right? Uh, for example, uh, document messages, timestamp, uh, you can see timestamp as well. Uh, for example, uh, uh, I'm looking for, 
uh, I can also add IP address so you can also know from which source it's coming from. Uh, right now it's coming from my local host. But if you're you're running your uh, if it's if your uh, script is running on multiple computers, it will show their IP address. You could filter out. You could build beautiful beautiful dashboards, right? Uh, the possibilities are really endless what you can uh, make with this, right? Um, and again, right, you can come here, you can easily add filters, right? So you could filter your documents based on any, 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 anything, you know, you could say is operator, you know, you could search, search among your log very easily and fast, right? Now, if you wanted to build dashboards, um, uh, it is actually very easy. You could go to dashboards, uh, you can click on create and it is that easy, right? So I can say create visualization and let's say, uh, I can select my index here, log DB. And now I can simply just drag and drop, right? So now, as you can see, right, it's it's showing me. And remember, I have a time span of five seconds, right? So if you wanted, you know, uh, you could essentially come here and say uh, last 24 hours. Uh, uh, so it will show around how many I have, 462. If I want account, I can just do that, uh, right? And then if I want, I can save and return. Now you could, you know, add as many visualization as you want. And as you can see, the account is increasing. Take a look at this. This is really impressive. Take a look at the speed. So if I even if I remove uh, the sleep statement, uh, see how amazingly uh, it's taking care, right? So now I'm publishing at a very rapid rate. Oh God. Uh, so as you can see, right, uh, still works great, right? Logstash is taking care. Just look at the speed. I'm publishing at a very, very rapid rate. Just take a look at this. Uh, let me stop this. Uh, so what I'll do is guys, I'll put the source code in the description. So you could use this class, uh, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you, if in your company, you're using Logstash and uh, if you have Python application and if you would like to monitor those logs, I think just take the class and essentially add this class into your Python code and you could ship all the logs to your Elasticsearch and make beautiful dashboards here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed these sort of videos. And if you have any more questions, list your question in the comment section below. I'll try my best in the next video to create an end-to-end -end pipeline on AWS. So we'll essentially deploy the log stash on AWS. Uh, we'll deploy that on multiple computers or multiple servers, right? Uh, we'll write our Python script that's running on server A, server B. We'll have a log stash. Both of them are going to send data to a central log stash. Log stash will then send data to Elasticsearch. Then we create beautiful visual uh, on Kibana, right? Thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy such uh, amazing contents, uh, let me know by doing that, uh, by leaving a, a simple positive comment. And if you have any more questions, list your question in the comments and I'll be very happy to talk more about that. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.